Aaron, most of these uh, sightings have been in one Monterey area area in the Monta Vista neighborhood, but you can see the animals all over the peninsula and the SPCA for Monterey County says we may be seeing more of them this year than last. Their chatter can be unnerving. The sound of a pack of coyotes in the dark. I can definitely hear the difference between a regular dog and um, the coyotes. While the animals don't usually attack people, it doesn't mean you shouldn't take precautions. We actually hear them quite often, and even though it gets pretty dark out there at night, um, you can hear them pretty close. So it's something to definitely be aware about, especially if you have little ones like this. The SBCA says you also need to be careful with your pets. This is Lucy and this is Ozzy. Especially cats and even small dogs. So we just keep them inside at night all the time. We never let them out without us. This is the time of year when coyotes are more active. Well, right now people might be seeing coyotes around a little bit more. Um, mating season has just passed, so females are kind of bulking up right now and looking for new den locations to have their babies. Beth Brookhauser with the SPCA for Monterey County says this year we may even be seeing more of them than last year because of all of those winter storms. It's very possible that with our rainy weather, some of the dens may have been flooded and females are out looking for new den space, which is why people are seeing them a little bit more often right now. Now it's important to remember coyotes rarely go after people. What they usually go after are rodents. Uh, we're talking rats, mice, and ground squirrels, things that we want them to go after so they do do us a service. Erin. All right, thank you, Caitlin. The SBCA says the two biggest ways to avoid problems with coyotes is to keep pets and pet food inside.